Hello everyone, welcome to the 2 Popcast. My name is Autumn. I'll be casting this game for that was set, submitted on the Dota 2 cast it sub. Let's look at the teams we have going on here. We have Wind Ranger being played by the School Boys. Starting out with the Blades of Attacks, so is going to give him a bit of damage. Uh, uh, you could start out with the Null Talisman, which is a bit better. Um, yeah, 50k pieces is good. Uh, we have Sneaky like a Snake on the Undying. K level 1, that's how you want to build it. Shadow Shaman, perfect JF. Uh, on the Shadow Shaman, we have and Sven being by perfect protein. So these two must be a couple. Uh, we have Phil Nig Niga Nigativity on the Ricky. Of course, starting out with that cloak and dagger. I like how th I like how this ki this this skill was renamed. That's pretty cool. And meanwhile, it looks like the Radiant are gonna take both bond ru ruins, Ricky as well as Sven. I hope you yeah, me too, man. I hope you win. As for the dire side, we have JKS on the Techies. Uh, Spectre being played by Daniel, Necrophos on on Yoshi, Invoker being played by P.O. Mon, and lastly we have Sugar on the Ancient Apparition. With no regen, sh surprisingly enough, went for the Boots as well as the Fairy Fire. This guy gives no flying concern about uh, his regen. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Spectre starting out with level 1 Dispersion. When is the turn? Oh yeah, that's a good question. When is the tournament? Spectre starting out with level 1 Dispersion rather than Spectral Dagger, which is kind of weird because now if she's caught in a bad position, she can't actually dagger out to safety. Uh, oh, this game is 2k MMR, just in case anyone's wondering. And we're, we'll, we'll see how, how, it, how it stacks up. Uh, so, mid lane Invoker versus the Wind Ranger. Oh, I like the Wind Ranger cosmetic, uh, the one the thing on her eye. Kind of makes her look like Solid Snake, doesn't it? Uh, there you go. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like the headband thing. Another good. Oh wow! Invoker doing quite a bit of damage here. Uh, I see a lot of Smurf invokers in uh, low K in low MMR, mainly because I feel like they love stomping mid. And uh, Kilia kid, are you worried about it? Uh, don't worry. Don't be scared, man. Undying level two takes the tombstone. Hmm. I ter personally take Soul Rip level 2 over the Tombstone merely because I feel like the heal is better as well as the nuke. So I usually go 1-1-3. One, one, uh, that's how I usually play it. Ricky, we just kind of chilling. Yep, this is this is Ricky. This guy isn't even moving. Alright, Ricky, take your time. Uh, okay. Take, let's look at what Techies is doing. Techies is planting mines. By the way, I definitely feel. Like, do any of you feel like Techies was over nerfed? Because for me, I feel like he wasn't nerfed enough. I won't be happy till Techies is nerfed to the point where if he dies, his team automatically loses. I feel like that is the best uh, Techies nerf, you know. And also, if, if uh, your team loses and you have a Techies on your side, you, uh, everyone should lose uh, 300 MMR just to you know balance him out. Uh, once that happens, then I'll be. Then I think Techies will be in a good spot. Uh, right now, I feel like he's too powerful. He does too much. He plants mines, and he, you know, annoys me. He's gonna have a bunch of mines here as well as a bunch of mines here. So it's gonna be a mine sweeper game. That's nice. Ah, uh, everyone hates Techies. Uh, scum of the earth, that Techies. Sven not doing as well farming as I thought. Only four CS at roughly three minutes. So, eh. Useless is a strong word. He is the worst here in the game. Oh, well, someone's engaging somewhere. Oh, top lane. And it looks like first blood goes to the Necrophos. Ne did not expect that. Necrophos gets a double kill. That was weird. What does what does this tech he has? He does he does have blink strike. I don't know if he didn't why he didn't use it. As well as smoke screen. Two points in cloak and dagger does not seem like the best way to build him. And Me Necrophos just starts out with a nice double kill early on. Also, a nice minefield being planted here. That's going to be a, a little scary to deal with uh, if you're a radiant hero. Still, they are going to try their best here. Oh, top lane. Uh, can they get a kill? Uh, take ease. Take, take. Well, I mean, Ricky. Ricky is going to fall. And now they're going to go for it. Undying doing his best here. Dying. Yep, does get the kill on the Necrophos. Get, ends his uh, streak. And take ease. Uh, eat, eat shit, take ease, And die. We were playing a second friend round six and we lost. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say you deserve to lose because there was a techie speaker. Oh, uh, oh, oh, not enough. At least he detonated them. That's still something. 
And tombstone level two. All right, picks up. Starts out with the arcane boots. Going to help him out. I wonder, does Undying benefit from Aether Lens in any way? I mean, two of his. I mean, three of his spells can be planted a bit further. And Windrage actually gets killed by. Oh wait, let's see what happens. Sorry, she looks like she got blown up. Uh, ah, there. Yep, there we go. Poor thing. Poor thing. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. It's the Tiki Speaker's fault. She did get the ruin, so that's still something. Oh, poor, poor Wind Ranger, man. Filthy techies. I at least we don't see techies being picked up in competitive, and and he's definitely nowhere near as cancerous as he used to be. Since he got nerfed, I've only seen. Yeah, at least she got the invis. Uh, since she, uh, since the techies nerfed, I've only seen him picked once. Bomb lane so far has not been very action packed, and Spectre really loves her dispersion, doesn't she? She's maxed it out uh, early on. I'm not really sure why you'd do that, but. Alright. What should you pick in this game, dude? Oh, no, this is not. Uh, oh. Uh, there you go. Ricky's dead. Uh, this is not his game. It's a uh, game from the Dota 2 cast its sub. And. Ricky Maru is kind of falling quite a lot. He's 0 3. It's only 5 minutes in. You know, could. Could. You know, put a chill on the dying. Yeah, it's not his game. I wonder if we have the time for a third game today, actually. The problem is I feel tired today for some reason. I couldn't. I didn't sleep so much. Yeah, I'd never cast the Techies game if I knew Techies was there. Wait, sorry about that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not digging the Spectre build. It looks a bit better now that you have. Oh, okay. Wow, the Tombstone is picked up. Can they go for them? Nice grab. I do feel like she should have grabbed the Spectre instead. Spectre would have been the better kill. Uh, daggers away, and looks like she's going to sa go safety. Does uh, have you guys seen the new Michael Jackson taunt from Undying? That's some good, cool stuff. Alright, they are going to be able... To, are they going to go for the tower? Nah, it's going to be... I mean, it has <laughs> too much life. Oh, sorry for the hiccup. I like the new Shadow Shaman build of going more points into Shackles. I feel like it's definitely uh, the way to... Oh, sorry, another, another hiccup. Really? Now we get the hiccups? Alright. Uh, Wind Ranger, she is going to go max. Oh God, don't not now. She is going to go max power shot, and all right, should be. Oh well, no, she wind she wind wind runs. Yeah, wind runs to safety. I miss when when she was called Wind Runner. I feel like Wind Ranger is not as cool. So who wins this game? I'm not going to tell you. If you want to know, you have to stay stay and find out. Uh, Undying. Oh yeah, he's maxing out t Tombstone. Uh, it's going to be okay. I like the pickup of the magic wand because I feel like he's definitely a hero who can benefit from it. Oh, good shackles. Uh, they are taking a bit of... Wait, why are you going for... Uh, okay, they're, oh, they want, they're going to go for the greed and try to get two kills. And he, they, it works out for them. Gets two kills in the end. I thought that was a bit greedy, but he make, they made it work out just fine. And, yep, the, the Shadow Shaman taking one point in Hex now. I think yeah, I already know him. Hmm. Oh, you think it's going to be the Dyer? They're going to make that miraculous comeback that we see every time. Uh, Sven going for two points in Great Cleave. That's, eh. I would have preferred for the 3 one, one build or something like that. But why would you max out Great Cleave earlier? That's interesting. Ricky. Eh, this guy's had a tough lane. And if I put some point in his smoke. Yoshi doing the best job he can and Ricky Moro has no regen oh what is up with this Ricky man he that is not the what you want to do and Necrof was not even bothering with him did you okay so now the undying is here undying doesn't have enough to, uh, to cool down on the tombstone still up and they're gonna go for it oh nice job and Ricky just walks into it gets get wrecked son says the techies from all across the map and okay tombstone is dropped and will it be okay? By the way, this since this chase happened, it's been like 20 seconds, and nobody has decided to actually teleport. Uh, I mean, they could have came and helped him out, but why, why, why teleport and help your team when you can, you know, fap in the jungle or something? Is that null talisman? Wait, what? Invoker has no TP. Ancient apparition has no TP. Spectre has no TP, and of course Techies. I've never seen a Techies player actually help a teammate out, so of course he has no, t no TP. And Serpent War is being dropped in the jungle. Uh, looks like they are. Oh, can they get the kill? They are going to be able to get the kill. Uh, 
guess he can now farm the jungle with them, which is kind of nice. And in fact, he doesn't even uh, get that. They should have seen that this word was dropped because the... Wait, well, I've never seen this word before. Obelisk of Foresight. Oh, I've never seen that word before. Have you guys seen it? Interesting word. Oh, well. Uh, no flying courier from the dire side because nobody wants to support. Is that 2K MMR TP? Is this is 2K MMR? Uh, no, the nope, the, the the mines aren't enough. Not enough to save him. And Spectre still not into in this game. Still maxing out the dispersion. By the way, I don't. Why would you max out dispersion if you're not taking damage? Beautiful. The Shadow Shaman rotations have been on point so far. Very nice uh, for them. And it just seems like the raiders are able to get a lot of kills going on right now. And let's switch over to the net worth. I'm net worth number one is the Necrophos. Does he? Is he going for anything interesting? Necrophos. Um, I'm, I'm trying to watch this mid push. Necrophos just kind of stay chilling top lane, not doing anything. And Techies meanwhile kills the undying, using filthy, disgusting Techies tactics. Oh well. Let's see what how is Necrophos doing. Necrophos doing doing very well for himself. By the way. Uh, I'm very grateful to a couple people who uh, ca who commented on the Reddit thread saying it's uh, Fen has a null talisman. Fen has a null talisman. Oh, you are right. Yes, Fen does have a null talisman. Because uh, you know, Sven is an int. Oh wait, no, he's not an int hero. Hmm. I don't really. Uh, yeah, yeah. Und Undying has also been rotating very nicely, and they are going to deny this tower. Very smart for them to deny a tower like this. Radiant have a very good push lineup if they want to go for it. Oh, can they get it? Shackles shot! Uh, sorry, not Shackles. Shackles? Yeah, Shackles comes out. Grab him for as long as possible. And they are able to get the kill. Um, Radiant, Radiant are, have a very good push lineup. They should consider going for it. And looks like Shadow Shaman is going to be building into an Aether Lens. But the problem is he already has Arcane Boots. I mean, uh, you have Arcane Boots building Aether Lens with it. You know, you should disassemble the arcane boots, and uh, he would have ha he would have the Aether Lens right now if he disassembled. All right, they're gonna go for the top. They do have the Serpent Ward, the Shadow Shaman number four net worth. This guy's farmed this farmed pretty well for himself so far. Max out the shackles. Not really sure I approve of that. I would prefer the more points in Aether Shock, but the max out shackles is pretty nice. And they are just gonna go for the tower. By the way, magnesium. Um, I think I mentioned this before. I'll mention it again, just in case. Uh, tomorrow we will. Tomorrow and for the rest of the week and foreseeable future, we will be doing giveaways because I have stuff that are untradeable right now, but they will be tradable tomorrow. So, uh, you know, just self-promoting myself. How do you feel about self-promotion, magnesium? Since you saw this thread on Reddit, I assume. Techies. Still level 4 at 12 minutes. I'm surprised. I Oh, wait. Looks like we, we, mid lane. Uh, Shadow Shaman does fall to the Invoker. Invoker. Uh, I think he's going to be generally okay. He's going to go for the Yules. And oh, maybe he's not going to be so okay. Can we see the stuff? Uh, I wish I could, but it's not on this account. That's why if I if I had, I would show it to you. I swear. But uh, it's, not on this, it's not on this account. I bought it. Uh, oh, by the way. Uh, invoker safe. Uh, just to make sure I, I'm very clear. I have... A account for my company that I buy buy things on, but I can't. But I can't. I have to wait a week to transfer it. And I bought them last Monday, so I'm going to be able to transfer them uh, today, and I'll transfer them to this account um, because I haven't been able to link my Steam to my bank yet. It's been miserable. But that. But my company account is already linked to my to the to their bank account. And meanwhile, take his kills. I'm dying. Wait, let, let's go see that. I don't want to miss too many kills. And yeah, he's just going to walk. Oh, suicides! And he's going to walk. Oh, the bounty rune. It's too tempting. It's too tempting. You gotta go for it, man. It's not Undying's fault. It's Techies, the disgusting Techies picker. It's his fault. Right, let's see what 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 the heroes are building into. Wind Ranger is going to go for the straight Aghanims. Could could definitely have like a TP scroll, a magic wand. No need to go straight Aghanims, if in my opinion. Undying is going to go for. Oh, Techies kills another one. This, the disgusting psychopath gets a kill. Um, Undying going for the max soul rip. What is the company account? Sorry to ask. Okay, good. I just, just got that final soul <laughs> uh, What's the company account? Uh, no, it's just that my company, um, my company, they do promotions and stuff using Steam. So they buy stuff from Steam. So uh, that's what I mean by company account. As in the company I work for has a Steam account. 
Ice Bath coming in. Uh, I know it's. Uh, I know. I know some people come here for the giveaway. Some people come here for the item for the cast. And looks like Invoker. Okay. Uh, Necrophos. Nice ultimate gets the kill. And uh, and uh, Spec uses her ultimate. They might be able to bring down the. They do bring down the Undying. And Yoshi is going to be okay. He does have a blink dagger, but uh, Shackles. Shackle does not drop. And oh, beautiful Serpent Wars gets the ward block and the tombstone doing so much work along with the shackles and uh, looks like they might be able to get the kill here nope uh, specter is she gonna fall specter is gonna fall i came in because of the tomo that's sweet and and they, they do lose the specter they lose the aa but they were able to trade so much uh nick Foss, he's just burning him and he's gonna be all right he's gonna make it out to safety vladimir's gonna be picked up on the rookie all right yeah uh, undying he is, looks like he's going to go for the Guardian Greaves after this. Uh, Sven. Sven has the Mask of Man. It's not, yeah, the Null Talisman pickup is really weird. I mean, what is, what's the point of it exactly? Huh. Oh, well. And Ricky Mario is going, yeah, he, he's going to go for the last. We already saw that. I, I have uploaded a, a game or two on YouTube, I think. Or have I not? Not sure. Teki is still level five. That's four levels higher than he should than he deserves to be. Has the soul ring, so he's gonna Wow, six clarity potions. You know what's weird is that he bought those clarity potions like I think early game and now they're not helping out. Nice pickup by the by the uh, Ricky picking up the gem. He should uh get a quelling blade so that he can actually do you know, remove the mines. Spectre really hates her dagger for some reason. I I mean I play Spectre a bit, and I don't play her very well, but I do play her somewhat. And generally, I, what I know is that you want to use your Haunt, you go to an Illusion and use the Spectre Dryer to get the 200 damage nuke. I mean, that makes a big difference. Plus, the, the difference in speed is 20 is 20%. 20 you move 20% faster, they move 20% slower. That's a 40% difference. Oh, well. Picks up the Vanguard. That's good. Uh, Nick Force went for the Blink Dagger. I thought he might be going Agators, but instead he went for the Blink Dagger. He is level 11 though, so he's going to have the le level 2 uh, Reaper Scythe. Okay, Shark Shot does latch. Techie's not going to do anything useful. Oh, there you go. Techie does a, does a weird rand random ass uh, physical attack that does nothing and gets clipped by it. I think, what are they going to go for next? Ven is here. Uh, stun throw out. Maybe throw out the stun. Yes, yes, kill him. Oh, wow. Oh, poor guy. The U Scepter! By the invoker actually saved the take the uh, Sven just now and prevent him to take any damage. And now that uh, Yoshi is he gonna be okay? Necrophos ultimate didn't proc, but one of the reasons was because invoker invoker really screwed up that combination. They are gonna be able to trade two for three now, and the undying tombstone comes out. It doesn't matter. Z zombies aren't gonna get slowed, and the two zombies still following the specter, keeping her relatively slowed. Uh, well, she's she's gonna be okay. Looks like she might be fine. She's also gonna go for defusal blade next. Just turn around and kill the zombies. Why are you running away from them? So scared. Yeah, um, the invoker really screwed up just now because uh, they had the necrophos ultimate reaper sight, and then he just used him, and that meant that he took no damage from the ultimate. He was kind of full life anyway, so he wasn't have taken much damage, but. Yeah, well. Yeah, this is kind of weird for me. Shadow Shaman has both an Arcane Boots and an Aether Lens. I feel like that's excessive. Look at his mana pool. That's 1,100. I mean, what are the chances of him actually using all of his mana? Alright, Techie's finally level 6. Does have his ultimate if he... Uh, do you get gold from taking away the the remote mine? Oh, nice shackle. But kind of a bullshit angle, honestly. Didn't feel like it was actually should have latched. Um, I know that you get uh, give grants ten gold. Does this grant no? Oh, they all gra do they all grant ten gold? Uh, no, stay scraps. Okay, so yeah, the ultimate as well as the the normal mines. All right, got it, got it. I was wondering which mines give gold, and I th I thought for it was just land mines, but it's land mines and remote mines. Uh, cause, uh, no, it's kind of it's all right. It's kind of like that. I do arcanes and aether on Rubik. Uh, okay. I think it's a bit too much mana, but uh, and no, King Slayer, it's not that odd. A lot of people 
you know they're not interested in a in a new, in a new caster. There's so many other streams that are that do something like this. So they're interested in something else. And um, what I I'm you know like it's okay. It's no big deal for me. Giveaways just are more popular, and I always knew that from the start. And looks like Tekis is gonna die. Deserves it, of course. And ultimate coming out from the AA doesn't actually hit anyone, but they might be able to. Oh what? Oh, I thought he almost warded, him, warded himself. But they are gonna go for the Invoker. They are gonna bring him down. Invoker dies again. Invoker, I th surprisingly not doing so well this game. He's number two on the net worth, but feels like he's, you know, died more than he's contributed so far. I don't know. I'm fine with it. I know that right now, my for me, the most important thing is to get viewers coming. And some of them will come for giveaways and some of them will come for other stuff. So it's no big deal for me. So Techie's team wins. Imagine if they win. I, I hope not. Don't do it anymore because you better go four staff. Dragon. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with Gings, uh, Kingslayer. Arcane as well as Aetherlands. Can they get another kill on a tombstone? Is dropped. And they are going to go. Yep, they are going to bring down the. Uh, what's his face? And oh, well, he does throw out the, a good. Uh, Necrophos ultimate before he dies. Spectre throws out her ultimate. Can she do anything though? Nope. Just fo gonna focus on zombies. And that level 1 Spectral Dagger does so little. Uh, she needs to be careful. Yep, Spectre just really not really gonna be able to do much. Yeah, I definitely agree that uh, Arcane as well as Aether is a bit too much. Uh, why don't you go Aether and Force Staff? That might be a bit more useful because you do get some mana from the Force Staff. Uh. People are loyal. Some people are loyal to giveaways, dude. Oh damn! The, the Sven looks like he's going to be taking a bit of damage. Yeah, he's going to fall. I personally don't mind. If people are here for giveaways, that's fine. If people are here to watch the the, the cast, that's fine. What I generally expect is that some people are going to come for giveaways, but they might stay just to watch the cast from time to time, and that's good enough for me. You know, it, like slowly, it's going to build up. And I'm, that's really all that matters. What is the score looking like? Experience favoring the Radiant Gold as well. I'm going to think it's because Techies hasn't been able uh, to farm much. Uh, if they have Invoker, I can really cast a spell because they have the mana. Oh, yeah. That is true as well. Copying Invoker is pretty cool as a Rubik. But then again, you do need Agonims to be able to copy him consistently. Otherwise, you can only copy like a couple of spells Bef since the cooldown so long. Uh, but does man. Oh, thanks. Oh, dude, you're making me blush here. Oh, one thing that we will be doing soon is that we are going to get a camera. My uh, office believes that we should have my face. So we see that part where you see Ricky's portrait on the map. You're going to be seeing my face there and instead. Unfortunate for a lot of people, I, I know. Sorry. Oh, okay, Ricky. Needs to be careful. Does have a gym? N mm. Camera. Yep. Right. Oh, shackle shot lands. Yes. Uh, Tekis dies as he deserves. And okay, and then ultimate comes out from the AA, and they are going to bring down the AA as well. So it's t two for nothing trade. By the way, if you have sentries or a gem, you can actually see the AA blast coming. It shows up on the map. Which is kind of cool. It doesn't really help to dodge it in most situations. The downfall of your stream. I believe it will also be the downfall of my stream. But my uh, company thinks that it's going to help me, so they were like, "We're going to give." You, they bought. They're going to buy me a camera. They actually already bought the camera. It's being delivered. So, ah, uh, Phoenix. Yep, gets him. The undying is five and six. He's died more than I thought, but it's probably because due to take his mind. His his effect on the game has been very positive. Okay, looks like they need to be careful. Wind Ranger, ah, she's not gonna die from that. He, not enough damage coming out from him. You have to remember, by the way, is that Necrophos's damage is magical from the Reaper Scythe. So it says it does point zero point six, but it's actually zero point four five because of the twenty five percent magic resistance. So it's really not a lot of damage coming out from Reaper Scythe. Even at max level with Agonims, it's about like zero point nine something like that. Due to mag due to that passive magic resistance, not by your camera. Children from that's a waste. I, it is a waste, honestly. But 
people say you need to get a camera, and they're like, "All right, we'll get a camera." What's she? Spectre still building towards that diffuser blade. Diffuser blade. This game. Uh, ah, techies. Five and seven. Uh, they want him to walk into the minefield. Oh, okay, nice ultimate coming out from the. Well, not the best ultimate, but they are going to trade two for nothing. And uh, oh, techies gets the kill. Gem is dropped. That is a huge pickup. The pings are coming out. Both teams want the gym right now. And Spectre, she's thinking about it. What do I drop? What do I drop? Oh, good. Drop the coiling bait. There you go. And gets picks it up. Mm, the problem with the Serpent was, was that it was dropped too far away from the tower to actually like benefit him significantly. So, And they are just going to farm it. That's the problem with Serpent Wars. That if you, they don't get you something, they can give the enemy team a lot of gold. I don't know if Serpent Wars give experience, by the way. I think they give like very minor minute amounts of it but still the experience of fav favoring the radiant for somehow they're they, even though they lost the fight gym of truth side is dropped it looks like it's dropped at the base or could yeah could picked it up okay do my games tomorrow I don't know man uh, the thing is like I said I don't want to be monopolized by one person uh, for the whole day come on <laughs> Where? Okay, Teki is throwing out a, a good amount of mines here. Oh, they see him. They see him. Shadow Shaman. Dude, they see you. Stunned. Uh, but he's not inside sentry range. And he is frozen, though. Good stun coming out. And they throw out another sentry ward. They need to be very careful here. And uh, Reaper Scythe, is it going to be enough? No, it's one. But they are able to get the kill anyway. Uh, nice shot shot on two. And it uh, looks like they, they lose the ancient appari apparition. It's a 2 for 2 trade, but Tekis doesn't count as a hero anyway. Yoshi. Uh, okay, they need to move out of the... There we go. Alright, he used his ultimate. And don't fight inside. Don't don't blink into the smoke screen either. Oh, nice ultimate coming out from the uh, Tekis being able to uh, finally throw out his, uh, his uh, minefield. The Spectre, not really doing... Do my Spectre game then? Alright, yeah, Spectre. I think I can do the Spectre game. I like Spectre anyway. Um... Ricky, needs to be careful here. Well, uh, one Spectre game, yeah, one game for you would be no problem, I think. Mm, does they have any detection? No. Invoker has Aghanims, number one net worth, but hasn't. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't been watching him closely enough to see his I effect on the. Do if. Ooh, I love Weaver, man. Weaver is my. Weaver is my second most played hero. I have like 150 games, I have like a 55% win rate, so that's kind of good, I guess. When you play with in Southeast Asia servers, though, you know, it's kind of rough. I love Weaver, though. The only problem now is that Weaver's not as strong as he used to be, simply because there's so many things that counter him. You have a Weaver game? It's 25, ah, 25 minutes is kind of... Hmm. Well, we, could, we might be able to do that Weaver game as well as another one. We can have like three games stream. You can do it today. If you want, I can do it today. Uh, might be able to do it, it, might, it might be better to do it tomorrow because then we can do like a fast giveaway afterwards since people would, would prefer shorter games when there's a giveaway. Impatience, impatience, you know. Oh, nice. Tiki is planting a lot of mines here. And it's going to be very dangerous just for the enemy team to walk in. Undying, does he have the Guardian Greaves? No, he's actually going to go for Agaves. Agaves on, on Undying is such a strong item. Alright, looks like... Uh, do they see him? They, is there any gem? Who, who has the gem? Uh, it looks like they're going to lose the Ricky fast, as well as the Wind Ranger. So that's two dead. Nice stun on three people, but and as well as the Shackle on the Shadow Shaman, but they're not going to be able to actually kill anyone from the Spectre. Ultimate comes out. She does have the Mana Burn. Spectre, a bit too deep, darling. And uh, Spectre looks like the, the, the Serpent Wars is keeping them away from the Spectre along with the Tombstone. Spectre just goes in too deep and dies. Uh, okay, uh, sorry. Looks like they are going to be able to do anything. No, it's taking suicides, but what level is that suicide? Barely does any damage. Yeah, level 2 suicide is not that much. And what looked like a pretty good, strong beginning engagement from the Dyers, kind of turning it around, they gets it in the end. Meanwhile, they grab him in the end. Can they get the kill? Okay, then the uh, minus armor and the damage gets him in the end. Undying, trying his best to survive, but... Uh. 
what uh mana burn comes out I'm dying yeah it looks like he's gonna fall actually uh I can kill you kid I was thinking if it's a short game instead of doing a normal cast we can do like a replay analysis where we just focus on the weaver and uh, discuss ways to improve if you like weaver a lot um, I can and you want to like improve on him I've played a ton of weaver games I think like I can give you uh, advice on how to improve of course, I'm not going to say everything I say is, will be correct. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, say, I'll give you some bad advice. But I think I can give you also mostly good advice on that. If you if you want it to be something like more of that. Because some, you know, if it's a short game, we can just do a replay analysis rather than, act, than a full game cast. Oh, the double yield scepter. That's interesting. And they, are they going to bring him down? They are going to bring him down. Walks right into the sentry range. Yeah, this invoker, of course, he is playing pretty well. I'm When I see an invoker in a low low MMR pub game, I always assume that it's a smurf because that technically is usually what happens. Did I do an offlane game as well? Uh, no, I just meant because that guy already has a Weaver game that he wants casted, so I might as well do it as a like educational uh, replay. Your game, well, I'll just cast it like I usually do because if it's 55 minutes, then you know, you want to give tips you can only give tips for like 30, 40 minutes, 30, 35 minutes. After that, it's too much. And the EMP doesn't actually last. The, the, the tornado, the ultimate comes out from Nikophos, but it's uh, level 3 out of but it's not going to be enough. Beautiful Serpent Dwarves, as well as the Shackle. And I don't know why he stopped. I think he could have, shackled, he could have grabbed him a bit longer. And uh, they need to be careful. Looks like they are going to lose the Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman is definitely dead. As well, Shadow Shaman does fall. Now they're going to go for more. Uh, ne Necrophos is just going to follow the Wind Ranger. Needs to just stick to her, man. You could have killed her at least. Um, last time that I joined. Tombstone drops. The cool thing about Tutai, it does destroy trees, which can be useful. Uh, do they have a gem on anyone? The gem is not picked up on anyone, so they can't actually see Ricky here. And they do walk out of his ultimate range. Uh, <laughs> the ultimate comes out. Ultimate doesn't last, but the debuff is there. And they are going to be able to kill the undying uh, Spectre. Oh, that was just the illusion. Invoker. I should be able to run away to safety. And I thought Kingslayer, I thought you said you had your 4.5 on your main account. And that you're 2.2k on your smurf. Come on, Kingslayer. Something doesn't add up here, bro. You can't say you're 4.5 on your main and then you're, you're 2k in your smurf. That makes me suspicious. I don't know. We want to place last. Yeah, offlane. Offlane is definitely. I. Per By the way, what is your favorite role for everyone? Personally, I think the offlane is the best role for me, because uh, when you're playing in a team game, the offlane is the role that depends the least on the team. So I find it to be the best uh, role for me. And unpause coming out immediately from the techies, of course. Let's uh, kick out more. Yeah, I can get it, get him. <laughs> of course, Techies with unpause makes sense. He's a Techies picker, so of course he'd play unfair and filthy. Uh, the Sentry Wards here, as the well as the Observer Wards, so they're seeing all this happening right in front of them. So later on, they should be able to D Ward all of this. Tch. By the way, liar spelled with an A. Yeah, there we go. Wind Ranger does have the Agams. I uh, just. <laughs> Undying, uh, building into the Agams. And Agams Undying, I mean, he actually has it. Yeah, as I was saying, I want to say before, Agams Undying is so good because you st you steal more than double as much strength as you used to. It's just such a good item on him. And the EMP does last. Doesn't take all of his remember, but does take a good chunk of it. And he should be able to use his Arcanus. Yep, at least he bought the Agams before he dies. And the world of the This guy has been very liberal with, with his... Uh, very liberal with his Serpent Wars, that's for sure. And uh, they do bring down the Invoker. Invoker playing well, but uh, not well enough. And now they're just going to do what... Take Ricky, meanwhile, kills the Tickies. Spectre Ultimate comes out. Don't know if she's going to be able to do too much with it, though. Uh, the Shatter, not going to happen. H Operation, meanwhile, kills the Ricky. Did he Shatter from that? I guess he must have. And uh, Necrophos Ultimate gets the kill, so he's going to be healing up, but not going to be healing up fast enough. Uh, I was gonna you know, cast it pretty well, but but I have to wake up early. Yeah, I will make a stream tomorrow, Magnesium. Thanks, 
uh, for showing up, man. And uh, yes, hopefully same time tomorrow. I will. I have a small meeting in the morning, but afterwards we will be doing the giveaway. Uh, and yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for showing up, man. It's really awesome that uh, you're like asking about tomorrow. It's thanks. See, this is what I mean. I know some people are gonna come for giveaways. I know some, some people are gonna come for cast, and it's really cool that um, you know you'll be coming again. All right, so let's look at uh, Shadow Shaman is trying to build toward his Aghanims as well. He's pretty close to it. Sven is the one carrying the gym. No wonder I was wondering how they always have vision. I'm like, ah, oh, Sven has it. Is it his gym? I think it is his, his gym, actually. He has the SNY. I don't really like the SNY pickup. I feel like he Blink Dagger would have been way better for him. Because, you know, you can get up close and beat people with it. Ricky has a ton of agility. Diffusal as well as Yasha. Their side, uh, Techies, what's he gonna go for? Bloodstone? I don't really know what he's going for. Aetherlands? Necrophos? Uh, please make him stop lying. I know, I'm sorry, man. I don't I don't know how to stop it. I mean, every day I'm hearing something different. I thought, I... Because, uh, oh, by the way, I do know that he is 2k because when he invited me to a party, we couldn't play ranked because the gap is too big. But uh, I mean, I thought I thought there was uh, <coughs> I thought that uh, that was the Smurf, and I don't know. Oh well, anti apparition trying to build into the Agon uh, to make ah oh, does have it. Right, there we go. Invoker has a Scadi. Hmm, Scadi, interesting. Eh. Scadi, eh? Hmm. Yes. So you're four K. You're not because that's your Smurf, so it doesn't count. Alright, okay, ultimate comes out, and looks like the Ricky is gonna fall here, and Tombstone is dropped, good Tombstone, Necrophos, is he gonna ulti? Ult is the wrong person, should have ulted the Ricky instead, but they are gonna be able to bring down, nice check shot on two, and they are gonna bring down the AA, and it's two for one trade, and it looks like Yoshi is dead as well. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't, uh, I'm not really good at judging uh, MMR. I mean, the people in 4K barely play like 1K, so it's hard to tell. And it looks like, oh, that was a really weird move by the Invoker to go back in. And, oh, oh, dude, detonate them. Oh, man, Ricky could have detonated them. Ricky, Ricky. Oh, the, he actually knows Sven has the gym. No one, he was able to walk out in time to avoid that. But yeah, I think he could have been able to detonate that a bit sooner, and if he did, then they would have been able to get the kill on the Sven. But ah, well, it's not not too much of a big deal, at least. Short games today compared to the usual, but that's fine as well. Not every not every game has to be Ti five. Techie is not going for Aghanims. That's kind of weird. Even the Yule Scepter as well as the Energy Booster. I mean, I understand the Soul Ring and the Arcane, but after that, shouldn't you? Isn't like Aghanims the best item on Techies? Because you can throw your mines from further away and they do more damage. What's the score looking like? Experience favoring. Yeah, it's been very topsy turvy. Favoring the Radiant. Gold as well, but not, not too much of a lead for you. And more. And uh, I'm done for the day. I, I don't know. Pick a game that you want, because uh, I can't cast too many. Necrophos hasn't actually made much progress in terms of his net worth. He picked up the Agams and the Blink Dagger pretty early in the game, and then after that he wasn't he wasn't able to you know farm much. Um, Refresher Necrophos it sounds gimmicky, but it's actually really good because if you kill two people with Agams, then that's two people dead for 30 extra seconds with no buyback potential. I don't know. It's really good if you can make a refresher on the Necrophos. And you have the mana cut for it, although, yeah, 1,000. Yeah, you have the mana for it. It's kind of expensive, but you can do it. Okay. Oh, no! Again! With the Tornado! Man, the Invoker screwing up another kill on the Ricky. I don't know if they... I mean, I'm pretty sure the Necrophos ultimate wasn't going to kill him anyway. But that's two times that this happened where Necrophos ultimates and Invoker's like, I gotta use all my spells, man. I gotta use everything I got. And he throws out the tornado and they miss out on a, what could have been uh, a 30 second extra kill. 
Oh, enough Wind Ranger gets slowed down. Okay. Can they get a kill here? Uh, a tombstone has dropped. Hey, Chap Richard, they might be able to kill the Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman looks like he, he's gonna shatter. Yeah, he does shatter. And Invoker is gonna. Is he gonna survive? Nope, nope. He's not gonna make it out of that situation alive. They bring down only the Shadow Shaman. Well worth it to, to for the Radiant side. Now they're pinging Roshan. Are they gonna go for Roshan? Sven looks like he's gonna go for a Salt Crest. Could be a Moon Shard, though. Hard to tell. Well, if it was a Moon Shard, you can go and afford it right now if you wanted to. She attacks fast, doesn't she? How fast does she attack? Four times per second. That has, that has some speed. Huh. Man, she is flat, isn't she? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Okay, Necroforce going for what looks like to be a Shiva's guard. Uh, I don't know. Why not go for a heart or maybe a bloodstone instead? But Shiva's guard is kind of good. Uh, not feeling it too much. Oh, Ancient Operation Mule kills kills this Sven. Looks like he must have. Yeah, he must have landed a nice. Uh, oh, sorry, what do you call it? Uh, ulti on him. Ice Blast gets him in the end. And Tiki is not gonna. Oh, he gets him. Actually, pops the Ace. Didn't know if he. Had, I didn't think he had enough damage for it. But that was well played. Good job by the Techies. I mean, uh, yes, he might be a Techies picker, but that was actually a really good play. I didn't think that he had enough damage, but he, he assessed it way better than I did. And uh, well done by him. The mag the Suicide wasn't even max level, but he got the kill. Very nice. Very nice. I don't know. I, that, that, that was unexpected and quite impressive. Alright. Spectre. They don't have vision. Oh wait, they do now. AA's blast misses. Looks like they might be able to get a double. Okay, shackle, shackle as well as the uh, shackle shot. That's a bit excessive. They aren't able to bring, drop him down. Uh, Spec uses her ultimate, but she did. Oh, almost gets it. But either, but uh, sorry, Shadow Shaman says no. Meanwhile, looks like the tombstone as well as the, the serpent wards. These two things are so strong combined. They are actually. They did lose the fight. Seems like. Maybe Invoker can turn this around. They do bring down all the zombies as well as the uh, sh wars get the kill in the end. But Gem is dropped and they go walks into it. Needs to be careful. The, the, these Serpent Wars do tons of damage. Almost bring him down. But now he wants to go back and farm the Why? Invoker! Okay, heals himself. Almost kills himself in the, in the process actually. The greed is a bit, uh, a bit too real. I wonder if the Dyer, or which team is going to win this? I wonder if Dyer is going to win this. Looking at the late game, I mean, Dyer... Both teams have pretty strong late game. No, not, neither team is really too much better than the other one. Piomon on the Invoker. Gem. Uh, who, who, who's a good gym picker for the Radiance, for the Dyer side? I suppose Necrophos would be pretty good. I mean, he's already carrying Sentry Ward, so he might as well drop it. And he's pretty mobile. He has a lot. Yeah, he's definitely going for the Shiva's Guard. Mm, Shiva's Guard, Necrophos. I don't know. Uh, Moonshot, I was wondering, was it going to be a Salt Crest or was it going to be Moonshot? Moonshot seems to fit more. He's definitely to a speed, and he attacks twice per second. That's pretty damn fast. Oh wait, wait! Now he's attacking uh, point four, zero point three eight, so even faster. Yeah, I was like thinking that he's definitely uh, the type who would go moon shard because it seems like he values the attack and movement speed over everything else. And you have a lot with Sanji and Yasha as well as the Mask of Madness. You move very fast and well as well as attack very fast. But I do think that Blink Dagger is still a better option than than most of these choices, honestly. Invoker. Mm, so he's going to go for the Hex. Is he going to be grabbed? Grab him? Yep, he does grab him in the end. And I don't know if he's going to be making out of this situation alive. He's taking a ton of damage. He d he's the one carrying the gem. So if he dies, it's going to be even worse. And he, do he does do die. He doesn't have buyback either. Oh, the shackle! Techies does not have buyback either. So that's two people. The third guy is going to fall. Oh, it's a one by one situation. And now even the ancient apparition, neither none of these three have buyback. They have mines. Okay, they do kill the Ricky. That's 
that's one guy dead. But remember, they have Shadow Shaman Wars ready to plant if they need to. And the gym is right over there. Someone needs to pick up. Uh, yep. Good pick up by the Undying because they need to have gym. And are uh, they just going to destroy these. And the uh, Serpent Wards. How much damage? Check it out. They take out like chunks of dam of HP. Is Radiant going to go for the throne? There's no buybacks available on the die. It's up against the Necroforce and Spectre to defend against this. And we'll have to wait. And... Uh... Are they gonna try to go for it? I would go for the throne, maybe. Instead, now going for the tier two is also a very good choice for them. And can they get two sets of racks? Two sets of racks. Eh, might be pushing it. Invoker is gonna be up, and and as well as a H apparition is gonna be up now. He's gonna throw his ultimate. And also, they don't have the serpent wars, but they do have a ton of damage coming out from the Sven, as well as the Disso. Oh, assault cures and Disso would have been so good this game. And oh, Necrophos comes in. Does he have an ultimate? Throws it out on the Undying. Brings him down. They still got the, the range rack. The range rack, not really what you want or care for. Uh, take his shoot, should consider suicide just so he can do as much damage as he can. So he's suicide? Nope, not suiciding yet. Uh, but looks like they might be able to. Yep, they do bring down the, the Sven. So the gem picked up on them. Now they're going to go for more. Uh, tornado comes up. And it's a turnaround and the other way, the, but the Raising do have buyback on the Sven as well as on the Shadow Shaman, so it's not as bad of a situation. Plus all their tier 2s are standing, so it's going to take a while for them to, you know, reach the base and cause the damage that they want to cause. Hmm. Does, that, does he have actually enough? Doesn't Dying have? No, he does not. He's mm, Interesting. But do I have Courage? Oh, he does have the... what? What you might call it, glimmer cape, and he's gonna go from down. He's probably a solar crest, so he can have extra. Yeah, if you solar someone and glimmer cape them, they're gonna have extra armor evasion as well as magic resistance. That's pretty good. In fact, the glimmer, the uh, glimmer cape pickup is insanely good because uh, glimmering anyone with when the en enemy necrophos is, is on the other side, you take so much less damage. Glimmer cape like reduces the magic damage you take by 50 or something, and with a passive regen, it's it's a lot. The AI ulti was really slow. Uh, I'm not sure which one you meant because, uh, you know, there is a delay. So when you say, so I kind of forgot which AI ultimate. Shiva's guy is up on the naked Rofos though, so he has a good amount of AOE damage along with the you know Death Pulse, the Heart Stopper, and the Arcane Boots. I still would have preferred him go for more like pure HP because then your Heart Stopper, the longer your Heart Stopper is on, the better basically. And if Spectre had Radiance, that would be also really good. What is Spectre going for? Blades of Attack. When they were thinking far. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. When he just respawned. Mm, Spectre. What? Is she going for crit? The good thing is that her illusions do crit when you use your haunt. So you can have illusions that crit and a mana burn, which is nice. Oh, and she does have Radiance. I didn't realize. I, uh, oh wow, I, I didn't realize she had range. She actually has farmed up pretty well. Still, number 7 on the net worth is really not that Im impressive. Ancient Apparition. About 1k away from the uh, Agonims. Invoker going go for... Oh, okay, it's going to go for Lincolns. What do you block with Lincolns? You block uh, Sven's Stormhammer. I, if, it's not aimed at, if it's aimed at you, you block... All these, all three of these spells: shackles, hex, as well as aether shock. You you block the soul rip, the shackle shot. By the way, if you shackle, I th oh wait, that's a bit excessive, isn't it? Oh, two wars being planted. Okay, no problem, no problem. Obelisk of foresight. Yeah, glimmer cape gives you what? Like, yeah, forty-five magic resistance, which is insane. So, oh, okay, spec ultimate is used. Just a scouting ultimate. Still does a good amount of good chunk of damage, honestly, on them. I mean, remember, she has three things going for her illusions. They all burn at the same time. And she yep, she is going to go for crit. So she's gonna have her illusions will have four effects. They will desolate, crit, uh, mana burn, as well as burn. So they so they can actually do legitimately good damage. She might actually if spec late game spec, if you go like this, you can go like Daedalus, Radiance, oh, okay. Uh, Tombstone's drop may, might be a bit premature if they don't fight it. Dyer needs to go back and take his 
Uh, okay, well, the Serpent Wars as well expanded here. Uh, that's a bit excessive, and they are going to be dropped the A as well. A, no buyback. Tickets does have buyback, but that Serpent Wars are dropped kind of far from the base. Necrophos throws out his ultimate. They are, they do bring down the Ricky Mario. They almost bring down the Undying, and okay, looks like Spectre is going to go with the Radiance. Is he going to go for more? And need, needs to be careful here. Sven actually goes back to get the double damage when they are low life, and Dyer actually win that fight if you think about it. They, were, they, won, they took it uh, three for two in the end. And Tech is, you know, he I think he suicided or something. Did he suicide? No, he, he died normally. But he had Bloodstone, so he actually comes back pretty damn fast. Fight recap. Yeah, it definitely favors the Dyer by quite a bit. Twice as much experience and many more times more gold. Yeah, so if you go... if you're a Spectre and you have Radiance, Level 2, Diffusal, uh, crystal, uh, Crystals into Daedalus, and you have the Desolate, you might actually just consider going Refresher and using your ultimate twice, because you have, then you'll have like, what, 14 seconds of your illusions really beating the living daylights out of the enemy team. Well worth it, honestly, and if to go uh, Refresher on, on Spectre. Hearth was going to be nice here. Yeah, definitely. Hearth is still a, is still a very nice item. And oh, okay, Invoker. Wait, wait. What what was that? Wait, wait that's, that was kind of weird for me. Okay, wa 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 watch this. Alright, right, he walks in. Okay, they spot me. Uh, oh, let me hit a creep. Let me hit a creep b for some reason. Why does he even hit a creep? It's like, why would he hit that creep? What was the point of that? It it didn't make any sense. It's like. He had the Yule, he had the Yules, maybe he could have used one of them or something. I mean, alright, Sven already stunned him, so he wasn't going to stun him again. So Yule, you, you, the Wind Ranger, you just run away. Do his perspective. Oh, do his perspective. Alright, alright. Uh, let's go back for a couple of minutes. Yeah. We're going to go back quite a bit, actually, just for this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really not sure what he was, what he was doing. Uh, maybe move up, move in front 10. Seconds. Yeah, there we go. This is this is this is Invoker's perspective. Uh, oh, he, he doesn't even know. To be honest, I don't really think I don't think he gets a pass at this at all. Look at his map. He sees nothing in the top lane. The whole top lane is like completely empty for him. So why would he even go there in that way up a hill? That was that was really bad. He could have walked like. You know, th through this path. Instead, he walks through the river, up a hill that he has no vision, and gets wrecked. Which, I mean, come on. Yeah, I didn't focus perspective. That was a focus perspective. I don't think I don't think he gets a pass at all. You know, he didn't see anything because his vision was really bad. Undying, Glimmer, Arcane Boots. Like, Guardian Grief. Scott, yeah, why is the Scott? It also is a bit odd. If you want to go for damage, you want to go like for an early Deso to do the extra damage. The Scotty pickup has been. Ready inside. Are we going to go for Roshan? Yeah. Still would have preferred an Assault QS on the Sven. Because Assault QS would help against all the uh, illusions from the Spectre and also helps in taking your base. You have the Deso, you have Assault QS, you can go through base. Oh, Spec Ultimate is used, but it doesn't actually make too much of a difference. Uh, what's my party MMR? 4.3? I've been losing so many party games recently, it's insane. I was once at 4.6, but so much for that. Look at all this, look at this. It looks like Christmas. So much red and so much b green all together. Uh, well. Although the Raxes may have been a better place to put all these mines. It still looks nice. Uh -huh. right, oh, lo looks like Ticket is going to fall. Has the buyback if you choose to use it. Ultimate comes out from the A. It's not going to be enough. They do bring down the Ricky though. But Yoshi is going to die as well. He's by his back. No buyback available on the Necrophos. Uh, can they go for more uh, heal on the Sven? 
Well, doesn't actually need, he doesn't need too much healing. Looks like Tiki's wanted to suicide, but that wasn't gonna happen. Gets grabbed, and they have all these mines, but I'm pretty sure they have some sort of detection on their team, don't they? They do have sentry wards, and no gem yet. If they were out there, sentry ward drops right into the minefield. One day you'll play with me, and you will. Oh, okay. Yeah, right into the, into the minefield. Now they're gonna try. Although they do take away the sentry ward. Good job by the invoker taking it away. Ooh! Sven! Gets killed uh, by the Tiki's mine explosion, but now they have no more mines to defend with, and Piyomon is dead, doesn't have buyback, and looks like the game is kind of over because there's no buybacks on anyone from the dire side. GG is called, and looks like this game is over. Yeah, I expect it can't do anything much. Good game, well played, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I feel tired for some reason. Uh, yeah, thanks for for everyone who was here. I hope you enjoyed the cast, also to the guy who submitted this game on uh, Dora 2.